Hey, it's Holly. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a video. I know I say that every time I get on here. I think it's been a little over a month since my last video. Um, and I'm stuck. Went to the doctor a couple weeks ago and I have to have a port revision. Um, my fluid will not come out of my band. So, um, I think there's a kink in the line. So they don't know exactly how much is in there and he won't put any more in there because he thinks that um, it's sitting actually in the tubing. Uh, so he said he wanted to give it um, a month to see if maybe it would work itself out which it's you know for the past um, two months I think they uh, he hasn't been able to pull anything out so I don't know why he wanted to wait another month um, so I'm just trucking along trying to do the best I can uh, I have lost 53.8 pounds so over the past month I've lost about three pounds which I guess isn't good but it's better than gaining so um but I need a fill and he won't give me one um I'm gonna try to I go in I think in two weeks um and he said that it this he didn't even really call it a surgery he just called it a port revision where they just go in and take the port and get the kink out and try to figure out why it kinked and put it back in he said that there would be no downtime and um I mean, I'm still going to have to take a day off from work, but he said that there's really no downtime and it's not a difficult procedure, so I don't know. I guess I'm just a little discouraged because I feel like I've lost a month of weight loss. And I mean, even though I've lost three pounds, it was just with everything going on, um, and I will not bore you with the details, but it's just, it's been a difficult really month and a half for me so um but I know everybody gets on here and talks about how busy they are and I think we're all busy and with everything going on right now um we're even busier than ever I'm actually um and I know I've probably said this before I'm enrolled in a certification program for orthopedically impaired to become orthopedically impaired certified because those are the types of children that I teach and the professor, it's online, um, the professor I think is off her rocker or something, I don't know. She gives work that, uh, it's unreal. So anything not to do that, I have a, what are the annotated bibliography due tonight on 10 sources, tonight by 9 o'clock, and, um, I have four of them done. So you can imagine what I will be doing today, all day, until 9 o'clock. And maybe it'll get done. I'm over it. Anyways, like I said, I won't bore y'all with the details. Hope everybody's doing well, and I really don't have any um, successful news for anybody, or I haven't discovered any new products, or just kind of boring but as soon as my port revision is scheduled I will let you know and then I will definitely let you know what it entails and hopefully um, we can get this ball rolling I wanted um, you know, I have a brother who lives in Australia who is very against the surgery I haven't seen him in almost three years um, so last time I saw him I was I was around my heaviest and um, I was talking to him the other night and he never talks about the lap band. He never asks me how I'm doing um, because he is so dead set against it. But he is the one who got the good genes. You know, he tans really well. He's really thin. You know, all that. So um, I was hoping to be at the 200 mark when he got home on December 23rd. But... This is not going to happen. 
hopefully I can fit on the rides at Disney. That's all I can say. We are actually going to Disney um, at the end of December. And I know at my heaviest I wouldn't have been able to fit at almost 300 pounds. Um, so I'm hoping 53 pounds later that I can fit. If anybody's been to Disney, let me know. I haven't been since I was 16, and when I was 16, I was very thin, so I didn't worry about um, being able to fit on the ride or not. So, and all the fairs are in town. How discouraging are fairs? I'm really trying not to go, and um, we get all these free passes and all this stuff through school, and I'm really trying not to go. But I can say, even though that my band is loose, I can still not eat. I cannot eat bread. It hurts, 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 um, so bad. There's lots of things that that still hurt. But the things that don't hurt, I can eat normal portions, not light band portions. So, anyways, I guess this video was a bunch of rambling. But I just wanted to let you know that I am still alive. That um, there's not. As far as the light van goes, uh, not a whole lot to tell. Um, I am wearing normal, I can't, let me not say I am, I can wear normal size clothing now. I'm in between them. It's depending, like corduroys I just run big anyway, so I can wear 16 in corduroys. Um, about an 18 and everything else. Be nice to hit that. 1614. If I go to Lane Bryant, Lane, Br I always said Lane Bryant's pants fit big, but I don't think they do. Um, I can wear 1416 in their shirts. So, all right, kiddos, I am gonna let y'all go from this nonsense video, and um, we'll update you as soon as I know what's gonna go on with this port revision. I can't remember when my appointment is, but if I had to guess, it's not this next week, but, but the week after. So, okay, have a great Sunday, and I will talk to y'all soon.